Welcome to a special episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Ah, evening YouTube. Here we this evening on this troubleshooting special to uh, bring you a little demonstration of how to and how not to hook up your radios so that they will limit the voltage potential between the two sets to where if you touch both chassis nothing bad will happen. Things like that. Um, gonna show you first and what I have here is I have um, I'm gonna tell you before I even show you but I'm gonna show you in a second well let me show you with this camera here if I can get it going alright now there's one um, one clip lead a uh, green clip lead you can see it's connected to the power switch of the I'm gonna call this the new radio and the other green um, clip lead as you can see right here, it's connected to the other power switch on the other radio, the original radio. So, and where they go to, and I'm going to show you that, both of the green uh, clip leads connect to this, this plug here, and this plug is connected to that light right there. Now, you'll see that light come on if there's a problem. So unless there is a problem, that light should not light. So let me, let me get on with this show you what I'm talking about. I've got the uh, camera pointed at the uh, light. So now you saw how it was connected. The plugs are plugged, both the plugs are plugged into the isolation transformer. And so what I'm going to do is make sure both radios are on. Okay. And I'm going to turn some power onto it. And we're going to observe that light. Now the radios are on. You see where the, the uh, wires were connected to. So there's the uh, power coming on. And it's going up. It's at 37, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120 volts. Right there is 120 volts. Now you'll notice the light is not on it is switched on so if if uh, there was a sufficient uh, voltage and current to drive that light bulb it would be on so I'm gonna reverse the plugs in the um, Variac outlet and show you what happens Okay, now that's reversed. Now the, the everything else is connected just as it was. So right now, between the uh, that that location I'm connected to on the power switch is called B. Between the two Bs on the chassis, there is 120, uh, 119 volts, and the light is lit, and you can see that fairly plain. And I'm gonna take and unplug that now, and. Plug it back in the other way, and you see there is nothing there. Okay. Now this time I'm going to do the same test. I'm going to shut this off, and I'm going to do the same test. And this time I'm just going to connect it to the uh, chassis, to the steel chassis on the uh, radios, both of the radios, same place. So that would be the chassis ground. Now this is the time what we're looking at. And it's the same situation, basically. Now, okay, I've got the, uh, let me get the thing pointed back like it was supposed to be. Let me tighten this up a little bit. Maybe it won't move so much. There we go. All right, now, uh, I'm going to turn the uh, power back on. It's right, it's at 120 volts, so. You can see, nothing lights up. Now, let me reverse the plug again. And I'm just reversing one plug in the uh, socket in the uh, Variac for the output. 
and you see it's there is 120 volts between those chassis. If I touched both the chassis at once, I would get a really bad shock. So let me get this unplugged. And now this time, I'm going to plug the uh, one of the radios into the uh, line voltage, which is not um, which is not uh, isolated. And I'll show you what happens there. Now you see there is no connection between those two radios. No, no lights up. No, li it doesn't light up. And if I, if I go between the chassis and the ground, the earth ground, which is over there, um, there, there won't be anything anyway. I have it plugged in in a way that uh, the. Uh, The chassis is grounded and it doesn't uh, doesn't have a place. So either way you do this is is right, but you just want to make sure that it is plugged in so there's no deadly potential uh, voltage in between the uh, the two uh, two radios. So it's 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 safe to uh, touch them both. You know you can do that, no problem. And. That's what I wanted to. This is the whole thing I wanted to point out to you guys. Is uh, you have to do that. You have to be careful of this stuff because it is. It does can be deadly, as you've seen by the light lighting up. So you know uh, that was my main main goal in this this entire thing. And the illustrations that I put up on the uh, computer um, should be uh, fairly clear on how it was wired up. And the difference it makes, and things like that. So, um, I think I covered everything I needed to cover, except for one thing. I know what it was. I wanted to uh, let me let me change this around just a little bit. All right, now for this test, what I have is the um, this light is still hooked up. This time is it is hooked up. I'm going to show you a little different here. Let me let me grab this camera here. This wire here, as you can see, this black wire runs over here, goes down to the vents, and is connected to the earth ground of that plug right there, okay? Now, I wanted to prove to you that if you plug this, this radio here into uh, live power, you can do it safely. And I'm going to show you that in just a second here. Hang on. Okay, the uh, green wire is connected to the chassis of the, the radio that's powered by the live uh, line voltage there. And the other end of it goes to the wire on the uh, of the uh, plug which is on the light there and we see the light is not lit up so we know that uh, that is safe because it can be touched and it, it you know there's no problem with it um, I believe this the B plus would be the same way I'm gonna check that real quick okay now the same Instead of the uh, chassis, that, that ground there wire goes to another another wire, so that's not the same one. There's the one that's actually connected to the uh, plug of the light. You can see it right there. So that's on the uh, B terminal, which is the other power line. That's actually the neutral that uh, I'm plugged into because I've got the plug turned a certain way. So what happens if I turn it the other way? We will have a live chassis. I'll show you there just in a second. I turn this around. You see the light is lit up. Now, that's basically a live chassis now. It's the same thing if I had the um, wire hooked up to the uh, ground or to the B, either one, it would be uh, the light would be lit. So I just wanted to show you that there are safe ways of doing this and you really need to be careful on how you do do it so you know it doesn't cause a problem and uh, I think for our, our purposes I think we're going to use the uh, the isolation transformer as Carl suggested I want to give him credit for that and I kind of uh, overlooked that uh, to begin with so Carl uh, again that th they're both isolated now so there's no chance of, of connecting to that uh, as you can see it actually um, the, the line is still connected to the uh, 
earth ground over there and it's still connected to the light. The light's not lit up and you see I have um, I don't have the other one hooked up but one is hooked up anyway that's so yeah that's that's what I wanted anyway but like I said let me let me turn this around I think we can see pretty clearly that uh, there is a safe way of doing this and when I do this this test on the next video this is going to how this is how I will have it connected. It will be both radios connected through the isolation transformer and hooked up in the way that there is no potential danger between these two chassis. In other words, I can lay my hands on there, I can do anything I want. I can touch I can even touch those two two lines if I wanted to without any problem. Now there is still a shock hazard. I'm not I'm not dismissing the total uh, shock hazard from this. It's, it is present because there is 120 volts going to both these chassis. And if you touch the right two points on that chassis, it's going to be 120 volts. But for our, for our demonstrations and purposes, we're just trying to minimize the chance of um, getting a shock while we're doing this. And that's why I'm doing it this way. And uh, I hope that uh, shows you what I'm talking about. And uh, we can get on with the actual part of the uh, demonstration that uh, I wanted to get to because, you know, that's just the, what I wanted to show you was the uh, the problem or the uh, potential for a problem, I should say, that we could have. And uh, this way eliminates that problem and gets us in the clear so we can go on with our things. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I uh, hope you have a great evening. Better tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See ya.